some shows in South America and I wasn't prepared for the level of homophobia there, you know. We kind of went on and did our, our thing still and then, and I knew there was something, something wrong. I mean, they're all enjoying the concert, but there was this kind of like, uh, aggression kind of floating around and I could feel it's like directed towards me. And then I found out afterwards they were shouting puto and bisha, which is faggot and bitch. You know, and they're kind of singing all along to the songs. And then every time the, the line stops, they, they just say, puto, puto, bisha, bisha, you know. And it's, really, it's really bizarre. It's kind of, I feel like um, part of my job, you know, and part of, part of being in pop, you can't just be in it for the money. I mean, you have to do something useful with it, you know. And I, that's, I think that's part of what I do. But um, I kind of had the feeling that if we'd have given, if everybody had had a stone when they went into the concert, I would have been dead afterwards. are determined to kind of to uh, have a worldwide renowned band um, and that's and that's you know playing live is really important because it kind of gels the whole thing together and shows that we're not a studio band you know and lots of lots of uh, countries are kind of prejudiced against even synth music uh, and it's very hard to, to get radio playing lots of places because they you know there's this, this whole this kind of rock guitar ethic kind of thing, you know, and you have to be this macho band with long hair and stuff. Um, and a lot of those people don't believe that you can play because you're synthesizers. They think that you're, everything's done in the studio and you can't sing and all you do is make videos. So it kind of confirms. I think you have to be able to play live to, to have any kind of longevity. Oh, sometimes. I think part of the reason that, my, that I do this anyway is because my family are really complacent people and not so much my grandparents and uncles and aunties but my immediate family. They're always a the kind of family, I think all the children in our family are really independent because they were kind of left to get on with it themselves when they were younger. Um, and we never had, you know, they weren't interested in our schoolwork or anything like that. So I think that's part of the reason why I'm doing it is kind of 
like a screaming thing saying, look at me, you know. Uh, but it still doesn't work. coming up and they're 16 year olds and stuff and it makes you feel like a real old pro you know and uh and you just start thinking oh dear i'm, uh, I'm gonna start being like cliff richard soon <laughs> 